Hey, hey, it's Julia Tabeth here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Lifestyle Coach at rawsomehealthy.com and welcome to another video. Now, if you have candida, exactly how much fruit can you eat in your diet? Is it going to be this much? Let me just get my magnifying glass. Okay, okay, that's uh, three blueberries. All right. Or can you actually eat this much fruit and look at this plate of gorgeous fruit and you know what's 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 good for you how much can you eat without making your candida overgrowth um get worse so hang on let me just i, I just have to smell this peach the smell of this peach is like this appeal of fruit to human senses the smell the look the taste surely tells us something about how much fruit we should be eating in our diet so all right, I need to get back on track. Stop smelling peaches. If you have candida, no doubt you heard that you should either restrict your carbohydrates to, you know, like three blueberries a day, or you should completely exclude it. So not even three blueberries a day. You can't even have three blueberries a day. Well, first thing first, if you've got candida overgrowth, you absolutely have to address it. Why? Because candida causes, the overgrowth of candida causes a lot of damage to your gut. And if you've got candida overgrowth, you're probably experiencing all the symptoms, so the bloating, all the con perhaps constipation, or maybe a variation of constipation and diarrhea, or perhaps you are experiencing fatigue. A lot of people with candida feel this just constant level of fatigue, this brain fog, anxiety, and uh, perhaps you're also experiencing other issues with it. I mean, candida can lead to leaky gut, and leaky gut can then progress to autoimmune diseases, so it can start causing autoimmune attacks in your body. For example, um, your thyroid can be under attack, so we're talking about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, so your thyroid gets destroyed it gets slowly getting destroyed or your body can be attacking your adrenals so we're talking about addison's disease so your adrenals get destroyed or your joints you know if you're talking about rheumatoid arthritis another interesting thing about candida is that it often goes together with with parasites with pathogens with bacterial overgrowth in your body that can again lead to autoimmune disease when people come across candida, they, the, the sort of message that they get is they get candida overgrowth because of carbohydrates. <laughs> it's the speech again, yes, because of carbohydrates in their diet. And so they just need to restrict or exclude carbs and that will help their candida. But is it really what's going to make the difference? to your candida overgrowth. And if we are talking a, a real, a true restoration of, of your health and your, the health of your gut, and if we're talking about getting your candida into balance, we're really talking about dietary shift, lifestyle shift, mental, emotional shift, and we're also talking about gut repair and a lot of gut repair. With regards to carbohydrates and fruit, this is one of the big myths that people hear about candida all the time. And it's one of the myths that I heard about it. I mean, you, you know, you type, I've got candida, what do I do? Oh, anti-candida diet is the solution to your candida. And what happens is that a lot of people follow it and they get zero results. What's, what's, what's worse is that they really see their health declining. They see how their adrenals just get damaged by this lifestyle, how their hormones get wrecked, how their digestive system gets worse, and how they can never balance candida despite an anti-candida diet. And I mean, I followed an anti-candida diet for two years. It was a, like a massive struggle. I mean, what? <laughs> Asking to exclude fruit in the middle of the summer when there are peaches and grapes and nectarines and figs and all the delicious fruit, it's tough, right? And especially if you're a big fruit lover like I am. So if you then, if you're excluding carbs and you're restricting your, your fruit, where are you going to get your calories from? Because the first need is for calories. Well, then you're going to be eating a lot of protein and a lot of fat in the diet. So this diet, the diet that is called the anti-candida diet, is the ultimate candida diet, is the diet that 
leads to candida. That leads to more candida in the body. And this is why people struggle and they just don't understand. Why can't I heal my candida on an anti-candida diet? Why haven't I, after, after following it for two, three years, why haven't I still balanced my candida? Well, the thing with candida overgrowth is that balancing it involves you building your immune system. And this is what you need to understand. We, we will often hear, for example, I'll just, I'll just give you one example, that fruit feeds cancer. It, fruit feeds cancerous cells. Now, the truth, however, is our cells, the majority of the cells in our body are powered by sugar. So pretty much all the food that we eat gets converted into sugar anyway, because this is how we're meant to eat. We meant to eat sugar in our diet. We're meant to eat natural whole sugar in our diet. And there is a big difference between processed sugar syrups and, you know, all the sugar that you will find in pastries and cakes and all the junk kind of processed food, but also, you know, healthy, so-called healthy foods where you will still find syrups added instead of white sugar, for example, it's still unhealthy. And there is a bit, and uh, when we're talking about fruit, we are talking about complete nutrition. So fruit will come with minerals and vitamins and phytonutrients, including antioxidants. And all these work together to help you create optimal level of health. So going back to the example with cancerous cells and that you, you'll hear that fruit feeds cancer and you need to exclude fruit. Actually, there is absolutely no science behind it. And all the science shows that eating more fruit helps you deal with cancerous cells. It helps you fight cancer and it helps you prevent cancer. For example, Harvard Medical School in their article about cancer prevention recommended increasing the consumption of fruit in order to prevent and deal with cancer as well. And when it comes to candida, we're kind of talking about the same thing. We are talking about building your immune system so your body is able to get on top of candida. So your body is able to get on top of all the different viruses and pathogens and you're so strong, you know, that the body can just fight anything. So this is exactly what we are talking about. And when we are talking about too much fat in the diet that you will be consuming by default when you're restricting your carbohydrates, that can then start causing blood sugar imbalances. That can start causing too much fat in your diet blocks the absorption of sugar into your cells. So this is why candida may actually naturally multiply to eat the excess sugar you need to actually base your diet upon an abundance of plant foods, whole plant foods, with lots of fruits and vegetables in your menu. And you also need to make sure that if you have gut imbalances, you're dealing with them. So if you have parasites, you need to deal with that on top of your diet. We've been following this lifestyle ourselves for the last nine years and coaching people on it for the last six years. And people restore very quickly. They turn their health around. They can see the disappears. But some people can still experience problems because they need to go deeper. And as well as changing their diet and switching to a high fruit and uh, low fat lifestyle with lots of raw foods, you really need to have a lot of raw foods in your diet. They also need to work on their gut restoration. So do you see what I mean? Do you understand that excluding fruits from your diet is not going to help you deal with candida. It's very much like, oh, well, you've got high blood sugar levels. Okay, let's put you on metformin. You've got uh, type 2 diabetes. Yes, let's put you on metformin. Well, metformin is not going to help you deal with the root cause of your blood sugar imbalance, which of course is a diet. Really, type 2 diabetes in a modern world is a choice. People can choose not to experience it if they change their diet. And we've seen changes happen just so quickly. Or people can choose to experience it if they want to go against nature and eat whatever the hell they want. You know, and then, then they will you know, pay the price, pay the uh, experience the consequences of their choice. So it's the same when it comes to candida and balancing other health-related uh, health issues. Fruit is not the root cause of your candida. The root cause of your candida is a high-fat, anti-candida diet, 
it is um, your compromised gut health, it is compromised immune system, and all this needs to be addressed in order for you to experience optimal health. And if you would like to learn about the five steps that our clients use to heal their chronic diseases and to drop 10 to 50 pounds completely naturally without ever, ever restricting their fruit intake and their sugar intake, then definitely do sign up to my free online masterclass where I'll walk you through those steps and I'll pop a link in the description section. You should also see it on the screen as well. So sign up, claim your spot now. It's a free masterclass that can really change a lot of things for you. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching this video. What are your thoughts on fruit and candida? Do you really need to exclude fruit completely and just eat uh, three blueberries a day or no blueberries a day? Heavens forbid. Uh, or you know, have you done it already and it hasn't worked? It just proved to be a complete nightmare and you are open to new ways of doing things. So pop your comments in the description section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with other people who suffer from candida and can benefit from this information. Eat sweet, keep fit, subscribe to our channel for more videos and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.